Okay, so this is a laceration. What we're doing is we're simulating somebody who may have, um, you know, intentionally cut themselves, uh, you know, cutting, suicide attempt, self-harm. Uh, so you may see this on occasion in uh, you know, patients with some psychiatric illness, but you may also see a similar presentation for somebody whose arm went through a window, uh, barbed wire, razor wire, and things like that. So this is the concept of parallel lacerations. Now, when you see something like this, um, you have to kind of visualize it and see how things are going to come together. Now, what we call these are tissue islands or tissue bridges. That's the tissue between the lacerations. The difficulty with these is that the blood supply here is not that great. So you don't wanna put a bunch of sutures going from here to here, and then here to here, and here to here. So what we need to do is come up with a way that we can connect and bring this tissue together effectively without compromising the blood supply. So what I want you to think about with this is it's almost going to be, well it is going to be, it's gonna be a modified mattress suture. We're gonna start here and then essentially thread the uh, suture material through these little tissue islands, exit down here, come across, and then go back through and then tie our knot back here. So it's a, it's a, a horizontal mattress suture. So we're gonna do two of these just to show you how this is done. So we've got our needle driver loaded with suture. As always, you wanna use your tissue forceps. So I'm gonna put my first knot, or I'm sorry, my first pass right into here, okay? And then utilizing our tissue forceps, essentially what we're gonna to try to do is push the needle through that tissue island, okay? And with each pass through the tissue, you can always pull it through, reload, because if you're going through a significant uh, distance, you want to be able to uh, reload your needle and come back through. So again, I'm gonna be using my tissue forceps going through kind of at the same level of tissue through the uh, dermal layer. And then at the very end, going to come through. All right, use my needle driver to pull the thread all the way through. So essentially you can see that right there. You're taking your suture material and you're going through the dermal layer all the way down towards the distal aspect of the wound. And then we're going to reload the needle driver and then come back in the opposite direction. So I will put my first pass right through here and then I'm going to be using my needle driver, or I'm sorry, my tissue forceps to kind of stabilize the tissue, pass it through and use the needle driver to grasp the needle and pull through. Okay, and then I've got a little bit more to go. tissue forceps to be able to expose the tissue properly right where it needs to be and then come back through at the end okay. and then I'm going to pull this all the way through okay and then what we're gonna see is when you start to tie your knot okay with a little bit of pressure is her, uh, with a little bit of tension how all this comes together okay so I'm going to do our standard surgeon's knot pull across you can see how this all comes back together doing your instrument tie tying your knot pulling in the opposite direction each time so that it lays down nice and square 
There you go. So then you simply cut the thread and you have the reapproximation of the tissue utilizing this modified or extended horizontal mattress technique. So we're going to do that one more time. Okay, again, coming into the tissue and essentially threading it through the same layer each time, not coming through the skin, or not coming through the epidermis, but going through the dermal layer. back through in the opposite direction in the same layer, the same level of tissue. Okay. Using your tissue forceps to help guide you, help expose the tissue correctly. And making sure that you don't actually come through the epidermis. And when you get down here at the end, I'm going to finish up. Make sure you get a good handle on the needle. Come through with the needle driver and then I'm going to tie this off with your standard surgeon's knot go in an opposite direction each time Cut your thread and then as you can see this has been brought together very very nicely with two sutures there we go